This is Mr. Antonich's Period 1 Leif Erikson Duluth Project, created by John, Christian, and Calvin. A farmer in Alexandria, Minnesota, made a discovery that would set the wheels in motion. In Canada, Viking settlements were discovered in 1960. Explorers and traders moved on the Volga River. Leif Erikson lived from 1970 to 1020 AD, and his place of birth is in Greenland. He lived until he was 50 years old, and he was the first known European to have set foot on continental North America. Leif's successful expedition to America encouraged other Norsemen to also make the journey. Leif and his crew traveled from Greenland to Norway for most of the summer and encouraged others to do the same. During Leif's original voyage, the ship faced hurricane-like winds, icebergs, and weeks upon weeks of foggy weather. During their journey, they encountered a ship in distress. Leif Erikson and his crew saved two men who were in the shipwreck. Leif maneuvered his boat to get alongside the two men, eventually grabbing their hands and pulling them up on his boat. He eventually returned to Greenland and was looked up to as a good man because of his efforts to save the two men. A Viking ship was built in 1926. Falgo and his crew set sail from Hansburg, Norway to what was renamed Leif Erikson Park. Bert Anger rode with his business partner Emmett Oaken to Leif Erikson Park. After many years, the statue and ship found in despair only to be covered up by a tarp and surrounded by pigeons. The City Park Board got $20,000 to manage the park. The park board got together to discuss how to raise more money. A year later, they had raised $5,000, leaving them $5,000 short. Shortly thereafter, Norwegian immigrant and furniture baron Bert Inger and his partner decided to buy and donate the ship. The first statue of Lee Erikson was erected in Boston in 1887 at the Institute of Eben Norton Horsford. In 1913, Mary Prince threw a Halloween party at the park. There was a huge bonfire that would chase the goblins away. Also in 1913, the park became an, the site of the new armory, and the Duluth New Tribune began promoting it. In 1921, Mayor Cleveland threw the biggest party the city had seen yet. There would be a granite fountain at the western tip of the park. The park was divided into 16-foot sections. A small triangle of land had been bought and turned into a park. The mayor wanted to expand the park right before it was supposed to open. A new highway would run along the eastern side of the park. The statue of Lee Erickson was added at the park. Although it had to be taken down because of vandalism, it was put right back up in 1956. After the new mayor said that the park needs to be a little imagination, the crew put in flower beds, benches, walkways, and etc. On a regular basis, people will come to the park to look at the flowers, have a great view, or have a picnic with family. But usually people will come to the park to go see a movie in the park. In November, the board came to an agreement a breakwater would have to be put in during the spring. There was a sense of urgency from the board because they knew the cost of the breakwater would only go up if they waited any longer. A U.S. commemorative stamp of Leif Erikson was issued, and October 9th was declared Leif Erikson Day. People realized how important he really was and what a founder he was. Leif Erikson was a legendary explorer around 1000 AD, so much so that he was celebrated long after his death. Duluth has a strong Scandinavian heritage, so he is especially recognized with the people of Duluth. The Lakeside Park with a statue and replica ship was sailed from Boston to Duluth are all symbols of his importance.